almost all of the stocks, as you just heard from Danny, they're trading down, but um, your stock taking a hit on the 2020 outlook. What would you say to investors today? Well, what I would say is that uh, actually we are very positive about the, uh, the prospect of our business going into um, 2020. Um, we are seeing very strong uh, cost control on our side and the whole industry is creeping on cost. We are the only airline who is actually lowering uh, the cost base of the, uh, of the business. We are seeing pretty robust markets in Central and East. You know, GDP is continuing to grow 4 or 5% in our countries and that's where we are focused. So as a matter of fact, we, we are um, very upbeat uh, in what we can deliver and you know, as a result, we issued guidance of increasing um, uh, profit for um, 2020 significantly ahead of um, uh, 2019. How important is uh, this summer and what kind of demand do you expect for travel? You know, we, we, we start having a pretty good visibility of what we can really expect from this summer. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, we um, quite uh, outperform uh, last summer's performance so far. Uh, we have pretty good forward booking uh, ahead of uh, last year's performance for the peak summer period, uh, especially July, August. So we, we are very positive of what we can achieve um, with regard to revenue. Now, what we are seeing is that we are seeing some pressure on fares, but we are also seeing a restructuring demand. We are earning quite a lot of revenues on additional services and products, making up the gap on the, um, on the, uh, on the fare pressure. What, what kind of, I mean, you, you talk about visibility, and I instantly think about Brexit because of the mm -hmm. uncertainty surrounding that issue. What kind of effect does Brex, Brexit have on an airline like yours? When it comes to Brexit, first of all, we don't know whether Brexit is going to happen and if it happens, what way it's going to happen. Uh, so the only thing what you can do as an airline is to play on contingencies and start developing various scenarios. As an airline, we are affected two possible ways. One is uh, how to make sure that we continue to fly how to um, access markets on a continuous basis, and secondly, how to comply with European ownership and control rules uh, being a European airline. I think we put contingencies in place on both ends. Uh, with regard to uh, access to markets, we created a UK airline, so now we are flying and operating two airlines, a European and a UK airline, so uh, we are certain that we will continue to fly no matter what happens and in which way Brexit uh, unfolds. And we checked a uh, contingency scenario for ownership and control with the European Commission and that was cleared so we are pretty confident that uh, we are ready to uh, any sort of Brexit that could happen. Is now the time to go after to pursue more consolidation? Would you be interested for example in Thomas Cook's airline? Would you be interested in taking any slot opportunities? Well, we are not interested in Thomas Cook Airlines as a business, but you know we could possibly be interested in some of the assets of uh, Thomas Cook Airlines if uh, those become available. I mean, you know, we are a very refined um, uh, business. Uh, we have been growing organically, and given that uh, we have significant growth opportunities, especially in Central and Eastern Europe, uh, you know, we remain focused on, on growing this business organically. I would also say that you know, if 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 you just look at our UK presence since the Brexit vote, we have been growing capacity by 34 percent here in the UK, uh, which is a sign obviously of good performance and, uh, and continuing prospect of the market. What, what about uh, buying planes? You're a big customer of the Airbus A321. Um, what, what can you say about that relationship and, and, and future plans? Yeah. We have 260 aircraft on order uh, with Airbus to be delivered between now and 2026. So I think we are in an extremely good strategic position to ensure supply uh, of aircraft for meeting demands in the, uh, in the marketplace. Um, I think the whole industry is struggling with, uh, uh, with, uh, with delivering aircraft. I mean, we know the Boeing situation. I think Airbus is uh, also having some, some problems. Nevertheless, I think we are very well positioned with a well-priced aircraft, uh, with the best aircraft, I think, uh, of today's world to, uh, to, be, to be flown. And we have those aircraft on hand. And you know, we, we much look forward to deploy those aircraft to create more efficiency on the cost side of the business and also to bring a more uh, efficient aircraft from an environmental standpoint to the consumer.